Hi guys, welcome to this new video and as you may already have figured out this will be another first unboxing and full review of a Lemax lighted building. But don't worry, just some more weeks, maybe 4 or 5 weeks I think, and my 2021 Christmas Village project will finally start. But today, here I am with another review. So let's start with uh, the back side of the boxing of the packaging as always. This will be Candler's Coaching Inn, item number 85377 2018 Lemax Incorporated. Let's talk briefly about the uh, translations here because it is one of the rare cases and I, I don't accept it from a company such as Lemax where the translation has many many errors. So Candler's Coaching Inc. Okay, very very good title for this building as I will show you in English. But in French it has been translated by École d'entraînement équestre and this in English means horse riding school or horse uh, coaching school completely wrong from Candler's Coaching Inn in Spanish Casa de Postas de Candler correct in English Candler's Postkutschen Schenke in Deutsch in, in German sorry and in German, normally you will have wrote Candler's uh, Postkusche Schenke. So an error here writing it down. In Dutch, Candler's Herberg. Uh, also correct, even if Herberg is a translation, is in, not coaching in, because it is a translation simply for from English uh, to Dutch of the in word. In Italian, la locanda di Candler, also correct because locanda is the mm, translation of in. Not precisely coaching in, but uh, you can associate also uh, to locanda the, uh, the coaching uh, aspect of the in. So many errors here. It is one of the rare cases I've seen it from Lemax. Um, as always, uh, um, it is marked here that uh, you will uh, need uh, three uh, 1.5 volt AA uh, batteries in order to illuminate the scene, illuminate the building, and that it has an LED lamp inside it. Everything else is a standard. From each side, the uh, building itself uh, depicted here and there, and from the front side, uh, or the main building. Yes, I have a little damage here, but it is just the package that has been damaged during uh, transport. And also here, uh, a little discoloration here on the front packaging. But here it is uh, the building in uh, also here another discoloration, but I don't care. Uh, obviously, the, the uh, item, the building itself, need to be intact, and I will discover just uh, in a few moments if it is all intact. So here is the building that I will describe precisely in the few in the full review. Sorry, in just some minutes. So let's open for the first time the box. Always try not to damage the box itself, the packaging itself. Here we go. The standard uh, foam packaging, the foam case inside, uh, a styrofoam. Uh, case inside and let's remove it okay as always perfectly uh, packaged perfectly uh, sealed uh, top o and 85377 uh, item number here top o so let's open it surely here i will have the light bulb yes and the uh, and the adapter that I will transform as always. So here we have the light bulb. Let's reclose it because we don't need it right now. And 
let me open the foam case here okay here we have the foam case you may notice right now that uh, the building is not uh, perfectly horizontal and this is a good building when you, you have a certain angle here between the main two main uh, front side of the buildings you have an angle around 10 to 15 degrees from this part here and this other part here let's remove the building from the box okay let's open it let's remove this one always paying attention not to damaging anything okay and here we go with the this second uh, small packet here uh, in order to absorb all the humidity and not damaging the porcelain because this is a porcelain building and this is all the building here okay F so f for the first time you will have also an angled section here uh, from uh, this side through and i will review it in just a few moments but it is all intact and not damaged at all so this is a good uh, item for me and that's all for the first unboxing you can have it this way or this way it is more heavy from this side so it tends to go here there uh, like this then or like that okay i don't care sincerely because when you place it like this and you can orientate it as uh, uh, as you want and i will have a good effect but this is good for your villagers because you can have different point of view and uh, and everything else i will go in details in just some few uh, seconds thank you and let's proceed with the full review of item 85377 Candler's coaching in a lighter building from 2018 Lemax Caddington collection. Why I chose such a building? Mainly because I think it could be a great addiction to any Victorian era Christmas village. Let me give you some more explanation here. Victorian era, as always going from 1837 up to 1902. Were there railroads presence during that year of course but not in the earliest years and also cars and roads but these are only in the latest years of the victorian era so during the uh, majority of years of this era uh, coaching inns were an essential part of the inland uh, main in transport infrastructure and this until the full development of uh, railways. They were uh, resting points for uh, people and for horses. Uh, every needs were provided from food to drink to rest. So let me bring my <laughs> glasses and uh, let's go with the uh, full review. Let me go full screen here and uh, let's do a couple or maybe three or four uh, tour around the building here. And this is the back side, the right side here, another time the front side and then the left side. And I will go in details in just a few minutes about it. Okay, uh, last time here and then I will stop right there all right okay uh, let me start as always with the uh, dimension and as always I will go with uh, uh, height width and then uh, depth uh, height in uh, uh, inches 7.64 inches in eight by 6.89 inches in width by 4.8 cent uh, inches in uh, depth or in uh, centimeters 19.4 centimeters in eight by 17.5 centimeters in width by 
12.2 centimeters in uh, depth and the depth is this dimension here the way it is a navy building because it is a porcelain uh, building uh, 1770 uh, grams so uh, a little more than one kilograms that correspond to 41.5 ounces yes heavy but also very beautiful um, building uh, let me start then from the back side here and let me go up for the scale here the roof uh, a pair of chimneys there uh, this one is amazing because it's not uh, always that we can find a uh, chimney with a rounded profile here here you can appreciate the rounded profile with some uh, yellowish bricks here some uh, reddish or a red brick there and then the top of the chimney the black top of the chimney this one too is uh, uh, made from uh, from uh, bricks but they are covered with some malt and some stones here uh, this one too is uh, yellowish with the, some gray here and some uh, black there roof roof it is precisely what uh, i uh, want from this kind of building it is not asian uh, here because it is a it is a triangle here and not a curved um, roof as I've shown you in different times during the past reviews uh, tiles roof tiles uh, you are, may have the impression that this is gray but all the tiles are plain black this is just uh, an effort for, uh, from uh, reflection light effect here so everything is uh, absolutely uh, black uh, from the right side here and I want to just remember you as I told before that the left side and right side have different angles around 10 to 15 degrees uh, angles uh, between the two uh, sides this uh, uh, right side here uh, a wall with plenty of triangles here and I appreciate these uh, uh, building here this construction system here uh, very uh, characteristic of uh, northern um, ar architecture northern European architecture and a uh, fake windows of course because here we are from the backside so no uh, needs to project lights from the inside to the outside of the building and here another uh, roof uh, another part of the roof here uh, you can appreciate that we don't have any snow in this part of the roof here mainly because it is very angled here and there so the snow uh, tend to uh, slide down the roof and that's why they were so uh, angled the roofs at that time uh, this one is uh, less angled so some snow here and there and I uh, really appreciate this aspect uh, going a little more uh, down the big rounded hole for the uh, light for the LED light bulb here and uh, some imperfection uh, in the building here there even here a uh, small hole here but I don't care this is an handmade porcelain item as always and I appreciate it like that this will be a unique item here some imperfection and uh, maybe here some uh, uh, some other part of the building mm, judging from the dimension maybe this could be a, a, a restroom maybe a, a little restroom a water closet <laughs> room sorry uh, too small for a very big bathroom and just remember that at that time um, restrooms were outside of buildings and not inside but maybe this is uh, considered a, a luxurious uh, building with a restroom inside the building itself from the uh, left side of the building another very well uh, done uh, building here if this one was some grayish here here we go with some yellowish walls here uh, 
little larger room here uh, a fake window of course here and this uh, first level here this superior level could be considered some uh, um, depot for some uh, hay for some hay bale there or also for another uh, sleeping room here mm, but uh, we can be sure at the time uh, even first levels first floors were used for both um, uh, for both um, sleeping and for uh, storing some hay bales and I will come again to this subject in just some minutes here is the backside for from uh, uh, for the uh, stable here because I will show you from the front side that this is the stable here so from the uh, back side you can you can have uh, windows here and this can be uh, stable for animals for horses or and also uh, for um, coaches themselves for the carriages themselves and this is all I think from the uh, back side here some uh, not very well done painting here but I like them as you may already have understood as always with these buildings let's go from the uh, right side of the building here and let me start from the uh, roof there so uh, the uh, chimney that could be uh, could be represented here with some rectangle and some um, rounded corner in fact it is uh, uh, somehow uh, it has somehow a pyramid aspect let me just go in this you can assimilate it here as a pyramid here a triangular profile here you can appreciate here there uh, the chimney is not perfectly perpendicular with all the uh, base of the chimney but I like as always like that some more uh, white snow on top of these other uh, side of the roof and as always the tiles are plain uh, black here we have uh, an absolutely genius uh, uh, item a pulley uh, with um, a rope and a hook why? because I can remember you that this part here is a uh, stable with horses and here in the at the first uh, level in the first uh, um, floor you can store some hay bales and uh, hooks uh, with uh, rope and a pulley were used to bring uh, hay bales from the uh, street uh, level up to the first level here with this uh, uh, little wood opening here that uh, can be um, can be opened from the inside it was uh, uh, very useful instead of having to bring all the hay, hay bales up the stairs uh, uh, to the uh, first uh, floor to the first level of the building so this is a genius item the hook is attached to the roof so this is not um, a free moving uh, hook but it is attached to the uh, to the uh, roof tiling there going down you know, those are not uh, uh, windows those are uh, walls with some sustain here, some wood sustain, some wood uh, infrastructure here and at the uh, street level here, the ground level here you can you have a, a real um, window not very well uh, designed, not very well done but this is a uh, stable and uh, this is not for uh, people so I can understand why they have used such uh, um, a not perfect window there let me go from the other side from the uh, right uh, from the left side sorry and starting from the top level I can consider this uh, sort of uh, mm, of uh, room here <laughs> very little room but uh, you have the same design in every 
fantasy castles from the past a mansion or a, I don't know a penthouse a penthouse from that era with uh, some uh, luxurious uh, room there for very very rich people maybe with the uh, room uh, circular room there with no chimney with the top with some uh, red uh, tilings there and some uh, poinsettias here uh, also known in many countries as uh, Christmas stars and they are flowers with uh, uh, the shape of some stars with the uh, middle, the center very uh, yellow and uh, outside the uh, petals very uh, red and they are uh, used uh, all, uh, <coughs> during all the, uh, cre the um, uh, Christmas uh, season so poinsettias or Christmas star a little, very little window there but I was talking about uh, the uh, left side here so let's go here so uh, this room not very useful but it is an addition to the main top uh, room there so I can appreciate that they have added this kind of uh, supplement here uh, signpost here travelers lodging food and drink this building has many many uh, signpost and from every angle from every distance uh, travelers uh, can get a quick uh, uh, look that this is a, a lodging uh, an inn, a coaching inn so this is clearly stated that they provide food and drink for travelers a couple more of, uh, of windows there of uh, rectangular windows really windows this time let me go here there sorry for the noise and some mosque here or some mistletoes i don't know but because it is a uh, plain uh, green with uh, no indication of some uh, red uh, mistletoes here and for the first time i will talk about the, such a building this here you can appreciate this uh, half rounded window there. This is nothing more than a cellar, than a winery, uh, maybe the dining room for the uh, for the building. And this is the first building that I'm reviewing from Lemax that everything is used for the benefit of uh, uh, of the people of the travelers uh, from the cellar up to the roof. Everything is used there. So the winery, the cellar used as a dining room, uh, m why not mainly essential? Yes, it is very well possible. Some uh, baggage here, some luggage here, uh, no, <laughs> obviously those are not uh, uh, trolleys, modern trolleys, but uh, this is a simple one-handed uh, uh, luggage here and some stairs here in order to get towards the main entrance that i will show you in just some minutes from the uh, front side uh, a traveling bag here uh, and you can appreciate that at that time and uh, you were free to leave the um, your baggage your luggage <laughs> outside the building because they there were not enough space for everything everything was uh, just uh, uh, people uh, um, for uh, for people not for luggages and traveling bags and everything else they weren't enormous gigantic buildings but uh, there were just enough space for peoples let me go from the main uh, side from the front side another window here with some other poinsettias and here top uh, level here top um, uh, floor here another small window some more very well designed wall here some more mistletoe or mosque here uh, let me do let, let me do the uh, left side then i will do the right side another uh, another uh, signpost here candlers coaching in with uh, 
the carriage here, the coach itself here. It is uh, now very clear that they have also some coaching in. They can uh, provide horsing service, sorry, because here you have a horse shoe here and very clearly stated some lantern here some fake lantern with no led inside but they these are, are mobile so they can uh, swing uh, around and this sign here is absolutely genius here late guest must knock this is <laughs> this can be uh, considered a 24-7 modern motel, I think. But the doors were closed during the night. But if you are uh, if you are arriving late at 9, you simply must knock on the door and they will open the door for you. So, some more uh, luggages there. Green, blue luggage, the same traveling uh, sack I've shown you before. Another semicircular or demicircular um, windows here for the uh, cellar. A crate here, some more traveling um, sack here, bag here. And this is a rounded box. These were used to, uh, to put inside hats maybe uh, a bowler hat or a tube hat there but this is considered a, a system of uh, traveling with your hats and not damaging them another couple of lantern there fake lanterns uh, let's go with the front uh, right side another lantern with uh, uh, this one also swinging around as you may have seen during the first unboxing stables and carriages coaches uh, the carriage where um, were inside during the night were inside the stable here with the horses and also here I don't know if you can uh, appreciate here but this is Nichols and Son blacksmiths so they also provide a blacksmith service with another horseshoe here so I can imagine that this is uh, compared to nowadays five star gigantic hotel. So, with everything, uh, maybe today's it could be considered with a spa, with a garage for your fueled uh, cars or even your uh, electrical cars and everything else. A full equipped five stars hotel the maximum of uh, of uh, luxurious building of luxurious uh, um, hotels you can find at that time and this is uh, closed from the outside as you can see there it is closed from from the outside so no people were uh, were staged inside the uh, stable and uh, uh, carriages um, uh, garage there colors uh, the main roof for the main entrance here is reddish with some red uh, um, tiles here roof tiles here no snow here and there and also from the main side here no snow there just some little snow here on the edge of the roof here also from the other side i haven't shown you talked to you but here you have some more snow here and some more snow there and also from this angle you can appreciate that there is some more snow here nothing from this angle nothing here but on the edge here you can appreciate that you have some more uh, snow and uh, that's everything i think let me let me just uh, see if i can oh yes this is the main entrance the main door here a simple wood door with a uh, an handle, a gold handle, I think. Yes, maybe a gold and handle there, and a window there with some cracks here and there. But this is a porcelain. Maybe you have too much uh, cracks in the walls because I think the temperature of the oven in which have uh, in which the building have been cooked were 
too elevated so uh, the porcelain uh, has dried too quickly causing some cracks here and there the wall here isn't uh, very perfect but i like it some stone here to repair some part of the uh, wall that could have been damaged by the air and so here we go with the stairs there that will bring you inside the uh, main entrance here and a very beautiful building guys i think i've talked oh yes these those from this angle you can appreciate those uh, lantern supports here that were made from uh, wood i think yeah with a curved, uh, a very uh, curved section here and there, and with some uh, ring there to hang, to hang the uh, lanterns there. Uh, big, uh, big, and very thick signed post here. Uh, nothing is uh, carved. Every uh, post is uh, um, is uh, uh, printed on and uh, not carved in from every angle but i don't care very colorful from every angle uh, so this is uh, absolutely a fantastic addition to any victorian era christmas uh, village uh, pros everything is froze here i don't think uh, i have nothing to say cons there I appreciate everything uh, from this building, the colors, the green here for the doors, for the stable doors here, uh, brown there, gray, uh, yellowish, reddish and uh, everything else. Absolutely uh, well, well, well thinked and well uh, sculpted and well realized. Maybe a little thing to to say about those lanterns that seems to be inclined towards uh, the left but in fact it's only because uh, they want to uh, point out that uh, this uh, section here the uh, right part here is angled uh, in comparison to the right left uh, side there and uh, the building itself uh, i think i've said everything for this building yes uh, those may be considered too modern uh, luggages maybe 80 60 maybe 80 70 and not really earliest years of victorian era because they weren't so uh, rigid the luggages at that time maybe rounded maybe some sort of uh, <clears throat> different design I don't know maybe I can show you <clears throat> some typical uh, Victorian era luggage I will put uh, some image maybe right now right here in the uh, right side and uh, that's all I think yes yes th this is uh, really all let me just uh, uh, do the uh, outro as always uh, let me go with this one and I know my reviews are always uh, too long as all my videos but uh, I think uh, this is a very uh, beautiful uh, building so as always guys please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time